All right, next story. Uh, here's a Huawei-related story. Apparently, I guess I'm being accused here of eavesdropping on Dutch mobile network calls. Hmm. So Dutch mobile, uh, Netherlands, Chinese firm could have been monitoring calls of that network's 6.5 million users without its knowledge, report claims. Is this a concern for you, Vin? Well, could have. I could have, I say, alleged, accused. The report made for CPN by the Cap Gemini consultancy firm in 2010 concluded that the Chinese company could have been monitoring the calls of the provider 6.5 million users without the Dutch company's knowledge. Conversations that Huawei staff in the Netherlands and China could have monitored included calls included calls made by then Prime Minister Jan Peter hmm. Balkanade. Nend, Balkan End, and Chinese dissidents, the reports claim. While KPN acknowledged the existence of the report, it said on Monday it had never observed that Huawei took client information, adding that none of its suppliers had unauthorized, uncontrolled, or unlimited access to our networks or systems. Could have. You're right. Key terminology here. Could have had the ability to. I don't know. With these stories, I mean... <clears throat> Well, the reason could have matters here is because when these countries start to evaluate their security risks, yeah, yeah, could have is bad enough because they would say, but doesn't they would have an argument in parliament or wherever it happens to be where they would say, you made a mistake purchasing this equipment. I'm talking internally in their nation. You yeah. made because look, they could have done this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. You could go either way on it. Yeah, you could. It, it uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, this whole thing, I mean, it's going to be a topic for, what, next uh, next few years here. I mean, who's providing the, the hardware, who, you know, political stuff. Did you want to get into stuff? your network issues today? This is your time. Uh, this is your moment to shine. No, well, we, well, okay. Well, Rogers down since 11 a.m. Uh, I think we're going on, what time? Wow. We're, what, we're going on five, six hours. But, well, right. you see, some of the news stories are, summing, are uh, starting to come out. But I'm like, okay. The headline, Rogers outage leaves some Canadian customers without phone service. Twitter would probably dispute that. At least the people commenting on Twitter. Uh, the headline's like, well, you know, it's the same thing. Then you go up, check out Global. I believe, from what I saw, they were owned by Shaw. And Rogers acquired Shaw or is or in, is in the process. Uh, so Vin's going 24, full. 24, 25 billion. I hope you don't mind if okay. I paraphrase for you here, Vin. No, no. It, wow. It, yeah, I do mind, actually. <laughs> you do mind? <laughs> you have a visitor here first. Like attacked by dogs. Um, basically, what's going on, we have a Rogers service outage. Rogers, for those of you that don't know, major telco carrier here in Canada nationally. So basically, you have this really big telco, biggest in the country, and the biggest outage I've ever experienced, period, on any network. It's been three, four hours of nothing. No calls, no text, no nada, no connection to the network whatsoever as far as voice or data is concerned. And really, a lot of questioning about how or why this is happening uh, obviously, it happens from time to time. Is there, is there a new tweet here? This is all uh, breaking. No, it was... Uh, five hours ago. Five hours ago. So it's been as long as five hours, even longer than when I first expected it. People are upset. I mean, obviously, they're ex upset. Well, I saw one guy. He was upset because he had signed up with Shoppers Drug Mart, uh, drugstore giving out the vaccines to get the... 
uh, text notification for his appointment, which was supposed to be today. Mm. It can interfere that way. Obviously, I mean, me, yeah. No no calls, no texts for anything. Yeah, you could day, have an but, important call. You could have an appointment. Yeah. Uh, so many doctor's appointments are online, or not online, through the phone now. So you could have had many things scheduled that couldn't take place because many people are relying on that singular connection. They just have the cell connection and that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, here's somebody who says they've been out for 13 hours. I'll take my lost wages via check, please. I mean, there's people probably work over their phone as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So now it, I do recognize there's maybe a workaround what you were getting at, but I don't. I don't know if that. I don't know if everyone has the ability to. Well, uh, Wi-Fi calling. Work. If yeah. you have Wi-Fi then you can enable Wi-Fi calling and texting, obviously, or you could use messaging services that are not text. So there are ways around it, but it doesn't change the fact that this is pretty unusual. And Vin's going full conspiracy theory on it because he was like, who owns the, the company? Well, Rogers owns everything over here. And, and he was saying the way they're reporting on it is making it not seem as significant. And he's saying, is that because Rogers owns those various media companies that are talking about it? I don't necessarily think that's the case, uh, I, it will, the reporting will probably have to escalate in intensity the longer that the uh, connections are down, obviously. <clears throat> and then there's the other aspect, which is there's no real explanation. So it's not like, hey, there was a technical issue. It's not like, hey, there's a storm. It's not like, hey, uh, we're changing a bunch of equipment. It's just, it's almost like well, there's very little information, which lets people's thoughts run wild. Mm-hmm. And Vin's one of these guys, his thoughts are running wild. Right oh, now. no. From the minute, wanna, from the minute well, he stepped in the door today, he says, you see this outage? What's going on? Like, he's subdued right now. But, Will, you remember when he came in. Yeah. Well, it's juicy. This whole thing, it's like, what's going on here? Conspiracy. He was fuming. He had steam coming out oh, the ears. Uh, yeah. He was I mean, red in the face. You can take it to another level, but... Uh oh No. I, well, no, I'm... <laughs> You know, I'm, but, uh, yeah, no, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. You can take it to another level, but you're not going to do that right now. Maybe on the next episode. This is a cliffhanger. <laughs> He's willing to take it to the next level. <laughs> Just not right now. <laughs>